Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. So... Yo, how's it going, broskies? The clip you just watched is from a streamer named Hassan, and his father is worth billions of dollars. Yeah, that's right. This millionaire streamer who's a trust fund baby just said that your 9 to 5 and my 9 to 5, because, yeah, you know, YouTube don't pay my bills. I actually don't make money off videos. is actually a lot harder than our jobs, bro. Who knew that playing video games for nine hours straight was harder than, you know, being a forklift operator? Dude, I never knew that me going to work, driving my forklift, lifting it, heavy bags of whatever for eight hours a day was actually a lot less harder than playing video games dude bro you know how most of us come home from work and you know it's a friday night and they say hey boys hop on the game and you game till 2 a.m for like 10 hours yeah that actually sucks more life out of you than your job. I'm actually being sarcastic if you couldn't tell because what this dumbass said is pretty fucking stupid. I swear to God, I never thought I would have to make another one of these videos, okay? I already made a video whenever some other streamer said this exact same thing during COVID and I was just like, are you serious right now? I've already made a video like this before because a bunch of other streamers said the same thing and everybody had the exact same reaction. So I'm pretty sure this guy just said this because maybe his channel's falling off or something. I don't know. I don't watch him. There hasn't been any Hassan Piker news recently so I guess it was about time. It's honestly insane to me how like these YouTubers will sit here and these streamers will be like, man, my job is so hard. Let me tell you right now, you know how long it takes me to make a YouTube video, all right? So say I have no gameplay, I have no video idea, no nothing, all right? I open up, let's say Helldivers, the gameplay you're watching right now. I call up my bros and I say, hey, you wanna hop on the game real quick? I play a video game for fun with my bros for about an hour, all right? So the first part of my video, you know, let's say, let, let's just say I get an hour's worth of game play and I'm just playing video games talking shit having fun with the boys and then I hop off and I hop on Twitter like I did today just scrolling through waiting to see what either Keemstar or some of the other people I follow you know say or what's going on with the internet space I maybe spend about 20 to 30 minutes on Twitter all right so that's an hour and a half boom already got a video idea then I hop on here I record do all that I edit maybe takes me another two hours depending on the type of video okay sometimes it'll take me like five six so that's three and a half hours worth of work to have fun on the internet and apparently he's saying that me doing that and you know streaming all that stuff is a lot harder than my nine to five that I have to use to pay my bills so I'm not homeless again. I'm a forklift operator and an inventory manager so I spend most of my time lifting a bunch of heavy stuff counting stuff and apparently that's not that hard or how did he say it it's not as soul sucking as streaming <laughs> which what does that even mean bro are you saying that twitch is like a dementor from harry potter yeah hassan i'm sure that anybody who works any manual labor job you know like firefighters construction workers plumbers electricians underwater welders bro yeah that none of those jobs suck any life out of you whatsoever bro streaming definitely does it way more like i know i mentioned it at the beginning of this video but google search hassan piker father and then look up the company that he worked for. It's a, it's a multi-billion dollar company. This man is literally a trust fund baby, all right? You should go watch my homie Sensitive Society's uh, video on that. Like, actually, it explains way more in depth about everything, you know, about that situation. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can watch that. But yeah, no, this is a trust fund baby who became a Twitch streamer slash YouTuber who's out here saying that him streaming for nine hours sucks the soul out of you more than all of our real jobs. There's such a cognitive dissonance right here with so many YouTubers and streamers. They're really out here trying to say that like their job is insanely hard, which there are harder aspects of streaming and doing YouTube. It is a 24 seven thing. You're never really off the clock. That's the, like the one downside to doing, you know, this internet stuff. It's all day, every day. Dude, just like Jake Paul said back in the day. It's every day bro, with the Disney Channel flow. But it's all day, every day to play video games and have fun. Like, I, I feel like a lot of people forget that YouTube and starting YouTube for the majority of us was because we wanted to have fun with our homies and maybe make it one day so we can make hella racks having fun. I thought that that was the whole goal. If YouTube and streaming is sucking the soul out of you, then that means you're not even doing it for fun anymore. You're not having fun. You just care about making money and it's annoying that you have to like actually try. That's what I hear when I hear him say this. What I hear him say is, man, Oh, I can't believe I have to entertain these 
these people. I have to give them what they subscribed for. They should just pay me money to exist. It's so soul-sucking. Like, seriously, man? Like, actually? I feel like so many of these, these creators now have just sucked the actual, like, fun aspect out of YouTube because of all the bullshit they keep complaining about. You guys remember the adpocalypse in 2017? Yeah, that happened because a bunch of creators started doing some ass dumbass shit. And yeah, it does suck that I have to probably go through and censor out all the curse words in this video, but that's maybe an extra, like, 20 minutes of my time. It's not even a big deal. Like, bro, I want my YouTube channel to blow up because my real-life job is so hard, I would rather make videos for a living. And I know that my job isn't even as hard as some other people's jobs, bro. I know I ain't got jack shit on a firefighter, bro. Like, yeah, I'll complain about work, but, you know, if I'm right next to a, I don't know, like, like a soldier who's in the infantry, I'ma shut my ass up because I know his job is way harder. Honestly, the fact that anybody even takes what this man says seriously, they, they shouldn't. Like, you shouldn't. This guy is a fucking dumbass trust fund baby who's never had to work a real job in his entire life. I, I, I'll say it again. He's a trust fund baby saying that streaming sucks the soul out of you. Way more than a 9 to 5. Like, just how can anybody say that out loud and then be like, yeah, bro, that's a good take. Th this, is, this is definitely what the people want. People with 9 to 5s pay your your salary. Do you know that people with nine to fives who you spend their money on your Twitch subscriptions, who watch the ads, they all fund you. They're the reason why you make millions of dollars. You know that, right? Like, honestly, bro, I, I'm not gonna lie. I've been waiting for the day that I can sh talk this guy because once it finally got exposed that he was you know a trust fund baby everything about him made so much sense for some background about this guy he's like one of those political streamers who's always all like eat the rich boys yeah but then buys like a four million dollar house um which i think is kind of funny like bro you included in eat the rich i respect the message but that that includes you bro just because you're all like oh i'm i'm one of the good ones guys yeah you you don't have to kill me like that that's only what it sounds like like he's trying to shoo in his way into like a certain movement and political group so that he can profit off of it and like you know just in case the world ends and everybody you know does some craziness he'll be safe like like literally that's what it feels like with this man and then every now and then you'll see the real him breakthrough and he'll say stuff like this and everybody loses their fucking mind like i'm honestly surprised that this man has a following at all like i the only ever time that i hear about him is whenever he does some like really hypocritical ass like contradictory ass shit like what like like the clip at the beginning of the video like yeah he's been on a couple of podcasts and like you know own some of the conservatives bro but uh li like what is, is that all that he's known for like you you can't do anything else about your personality and your existence on the internet besides oh yeah i'm one of the good millionaires bro you guys should subscribe like, man, I've done, like, you know, five, six, seven, eight, even 12-hour streams before. And, yeah, it was a long time. But you know what I was doing? I was just gaming. If I wasn't live-streaming it, I would have just been gaming by myself anyway. Like, the, yeah, there's, like, a little bit of pressure there of, like, man, I maybe got to watch what I say. You know, I could get bad if I say this or that. Because we all know that we'll be gaming by ourselves. Man, if that stuff went live. <laughs> no, am I trying to completely say that every single YouTuber or streamer in existence doesn't put hard work and effort into their videos or streams no i'm not there is definitely some people who like work hard as fuck at creating their content like animators animating is a hard job like you guys heard about what's going on at the attack on titan animation studios like bro you know you have to draw stuff i don't know how it works okay I, I i'm not an artist i couldn't color in the lines until i was 14 years old no joke no scam so like yeah there is certain types of content people make on the internet that is way harder than others but this guy sits on stream and reacts to videos and talks to chat and that's it like you tell me if i could sit up my ass and talk to a bunch of random usernames in my chat for uh nine hours and then make like 300 grand a month yeah no i'd be streaming for 12 hours a day so i can make even more money bro that's not even like doing any real work you tell me people just send me videos to react to and then that's all that i do live and that's all my job oh hell yeah bro and maybe this is just how it is for him because he makes political content, bro. Yeah, man, I've been to a couple protests. I've exercised my rights. And yeah, sometimes it is kind of stressful being at a protest wondering if somebody going to pull up and start shooting. But that's not something I would live stream and try and make my entire job because why? If your job is hard, find a new one, bro.
Find it, dude. If it's hard, just just get another one, right? That that is isn't that what you know? Everybody tells us Gen Z. Uh, if, if we complain about our jobs, we should just find a new one that pays better. Why don't you find a new job that pays better, bro? Why don't you go work for your dad's old company that's, uh, cause what, wasn't he like CFO or something like that? Can, can't, can't you just Nepo baby your way in? Cause apparently streamers so, it's so hard of a job, man. Honestly, bro, I honestly don't know what else I can say. Like, this is probably the dumbest shit that I have ever heard from another YouTuber. Our jobs are not that hard compared to the majority of the jobs on the market. Like 90% of jobs that exist are not harder than being a streamer or a YouTuber in most cases. Basically, the moral of this video is don't be a dumbass like this guy, all right? Your channel blows up. Don't ever out loud say, oh man, this is so much harder than like my old nine to five, bro, because it's not. It's not. Unless you're doing, like, stop-motion animation or something, all right? Then maybe you can complain. If my channel ever blows up, you will not catch me saying, yeah, this is harder than my old job. Even if I make two channels, three channels, four channels, and I'm just making videos around the clock, bro. It's something that I would rather do than hop on another forklift again ever in my entire life. Anyways, uh, if you thought this was a fat dub of a take, subscribe if you're new and like the video. I'd really appreciate that. Also, check out the Twitch and the Twitter. I be tweeting and streaming sometimes, and no, I don't bitch and complain about how hard it is because it's not. At least compared to a real job. Like, <laughs> dude, come on. Seriously, though, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Have made a rant style video in quite some time and honestly this was fun to make it actually only took me last started making this video 30 minutes ago i didn't have to like find a bunch of clips and do a lot of research because I w i'm just talking see point in case <laughs> this job is not that hard it's not even a job for me i don't even make any money anymore <laughs> i just i'm just doing this for fun anyways i've definitely been yapping too long i really hope you guys are having a fantastic day i've been lofi peace out broskies